Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment. Let's see what kind of a difference it makes when I clean up the panels. You can see how dirty, I don't know if you can tell, how dirty they are, how dirty they are. But I'm going to I'm going to wash them off. And let's see what kind of a difference it makes That's the output right now on the uh, output 282 off those five it's late in the day I don't know how perfect this experiment will be because the uh, Sun is falling so this is gonna go down just in the next 20 minutes but let me try to do this quick and right. see if you can see a difference now I gotta go get that hose all the way on the other end. All right, I'll <clears throat> start spraying. God, they're dirty. Jesus, are they dirty. Look how dirty. Ooh, -wee, nice day out. But let's get spraying. You can see how dirty these are. Okay. waters probably good idea to do this every I guess it depends where you live but for me anyway we don't get much rain here but I'd say every four times a year is probably optimal I probably do it more like twice a year Maybe three times, two, three times a year. Thing is, here in Southern California, there's never a cloud in the sky. So that will not interfere with my testing. It's just blue sky. Pretty clean. I'll hit these some more in a sec. I just want to see. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, it was at 280. Now it's at 300. 296. Two. There it is. 300. So look at that. Dirty panels increase my output by at least 20 watts. And for the math, that's three one. 35 watt panels and two 140 watt panels. Five of them combined were producing 280, I think, or 281. Now they're at about 300. And they probably would have been higher because I lost about 25 minutes to the sun falling. Because to show you, dirty panels means dirty production. <laughs> 